Welcome back to Valico Fitness Show here on your hometown station, AM 1220 KHTS. I'm Ellen Como. I'm here with Danny Lou. And we talked the last, um, the last segment. Segment. Thank you about who I am at Valacor Fitness Studio. Why am I doing what I do? I'm. I opened Valacor Fitness Studio because I have a love of changing people's bodies, and I have a love of sharing my passion of fitness and exercise, nutrition, all of that. I love teaching. I love helping, and my greatest love is seeing the changes in my members. That, to me, is the most fulfilling thing that I could possibly see. And being able to support them in a really balanced way. No yelling, no screaming, just lifting them up when they need it and pushing them when they need it in, all the, in the proper way, though. And so Danny, uh, I met Danny. I was training him, and he started to really like the Balacor and just loved the results he was getting because he came from a gym where he was getting hurt a lot, and now he wasn't getting hurt. He was getting stronger. I was teaching him about proper nutrition, which I don't know why he wasn't doing that before, but that was um, he can answer that question. And then all of a sudden now if you see Danny, who's going to be in our up- upcoming ad, you're going to see the way that he walked into my, my gym and how he looks now, which – is why we became partners. So go ahead. Take it away, Danny. Well, thank you. So she became a partner because I lost the weight. So we'll go with that. Just kidding. So anyways, no, I was um, working at the other gyms and uh, all around like normal people. And I could do one or two classes. And um, a lot of the, you know, like P90X type CrossFit, all those were the, the trendy things. And so you just go along with it. And I just think we don't know. And um, even when I had, was going to two or three different gyms at the same time, you try different classes, and they just, some people just say, hey, push through the pain, and there is where there's pain, and then there is, um, like, when you're lifting and it's hard to lift, and you can push through that. But if it's pain, you really shouldn't be pushing through that, and they should modify as we do in our gym. So I was just always hurt. My, uh, Groin. my groins and the, what are those called? The uh, Hamstrings. Uh, Hamstrings have always been hurt, but just uh, my body was like my back, everything is just, I was a mess, just always taking Advil every day for probably a year straight, just thinking this is the way it is, my um, elbow. elbow, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're going to play operation, my <laughs> operation, point two to elbow, so my elbow ha- was having like pains in it, and when I actually came um, to Balacor, all those were um, happening, so I started slowly but surely, I've never had any, you know, ab muscles at all, it's always been like a Buddha belly, you know, Asian little food belly there and it's great because I like my ice cream at night just a little bit of Ben and Jerry's um, and because uh, I'm 50 I'm 51 and so you know, I work hard at work and I do go to the gym and so to ban everything that you possibly have so I just started uh, I just dropped off having french fries I think uh, two years ago or whatever it was a year and a half ago and so I just started stop that part of it and then about almost two years ago January I think I think it was two years ago um, after one of my son's tours and I was drinking a lot of sodas um, I just stopped drinking soda. And he, my son even said, Derek Lou said, why do you drink that? You're going to like kill yourself and yep. you eat this and you work out and stop it that. It was so Diet Coke, by the way. Diet Coke, yes. So I did that. And then, so that's one thing, other thing I gave up. And so I haven't had that in a couple of years and um, don't miss it. Um, so uh, there was an opportunity where um, Ellen's partners uh, wanted to sell. So I bought into the Balacor. So I actually own um, part of Ellen's company. It's Ellen and our company um, with another other person and um we make the ballot course and so ellen's dream was to open a studio so she can train the masses of the people um her techniques and that's what we did so a year ago february so about a year and a half ago we opened ballot fitness on the corner of soledad and uh, bouquet and i think what she's talking about is because she had only smaller training classes of like three people at a time five people six into you know one at a time she couldn't see the amazing transition that literally when you have 20 people coming every day and all of a sudden you look at them like literally a week later and you're like, whoa. And it and it did bring tears to both of our eyes. Like, how is it working so fast? We looked at each other like, how is that even possible to change a body when I work out at other places for 90 days, just doing two days class a day or, you know, whatever and working out five days a week and it never really gave me a one pack or, you know, toned as much. So um, it is the knowledge that Ellen has that she's put to methodically thinking and pushing you on the Balacor. And the Balacor, because of the, the added um, core that's being um, engaged almost at, at all times when you're doing work, it, it, you don't realize it that you're working it, but that's helping to strengthen your whole body. And that's been uh, one of Ellen's biggest things for 30 years is the core. 
And if we strengthen the core, that strengthens that will strengthen the whole body. Yeah, the core and also the glute muscles as well. It's really important to have strong glutes because they support us. The glutes were made for our explosiveness and our power, and then now we use them to sit on all day. So they're we're, they're not really being utilized for exactly what they were made for. They were made to sit on as well, but they're also made for explosiveness, which we don't use any, which we don't do a lot of. Um, and then when we try to do it and load too much on us that we're not capable of before we're capable of, then we end up injuring our lower backs. So there's a lot of different things. My classes are very, very instructional. I tell you why you're doing what you're doing, where you're supposed to be feeling it, why we're moving to the next move. So you understand and get to feel your body. I want you to understand your body. And I want you to be able to go anywhere in the world to any gym and know how to put together a workout for yourself that's going to be effective and your form's going to be proper and you know why you're putting these two movements together. That's what I think is missing a lot. People are just doing movement and they're going through the motion and they don't know why. They don't know what muscles they're supposed to be working. They don't know why. They don't know what comes next. They don't understand the sequencing of how a body functions. And I think as trainers and as fitness experts, it's our job to be able to be teachers as well. And I take that very seriously at Balacor Fitness Studio. We're going to be right back. This is Ellen Como and Danny Liu on your hometown station, AM 1220 KHTS. You're listening to Balacor Fitness Show here on your hometown station, AM 1220 KHTS. I'm Ellen Como. I'm here with... Danny Liu is in the house, too. And we're talking about Balacor Fitness Studio today. The studio. The Actually, studio. where we uh, change bodies and, you know, change minds, too. And hearts. Yes, that's yes. correct. Yes, hearts too. So, you know, how we set up the studio is when I thought, when I sat down and really considered, like, how do I want to put this together? Why, how do I want to make this different than other studios that are out there? And how is this going to be unique to what I do? And I don't get watered down in it. And that was a very important part of opening this studio. So I planned the classes a little bit different than most gyms do. I plan my classes like if I was your personal trainer and you came to me every day at 5.30, what would I do with you at 5.30? I plan the classes if you come to me as a, you know, as a, and I'm your private trainer at 8.30, how would I, what would we do every day? And that's how I planned out the classes. So if you come on a Monday at 8.30 and a Thursday at 8.30, it's not the same class because you might only have three days to come to the gym, Monday, Tuesday, Friday. Well, if you come Monday, Tuesday, Friday, you're going to be completely different body parts, completely different classes. And that was really important. I am mostly resistance training classes, although I, there's some cardio and core and, you know, flexibility and coordination and balance involved as well. But we, have, we also have Robin who teaches more boot camp type classes and things are more timed and they're more drills so that she, te te she teaches that way because that is her method and she's excellent at it, probably one of the best that I've done, I've, best boot camps I've ever been to. And then we have, um, we have great cycling classes too, amazing cycling classes. We also have a kickboxing class that is like no other kickboxing class I don't think in this city. It could be, but I haven't seen it yet if there is. It's not the teacher standing in front of the class saying, okay, everybody do this. Everybody is separated into different areas and they're doing different drills and they're learning different parts of kickboxing. It is, I have to say, widely becoming very, very, very quickly one of our most popular classes. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And Kerwin runs that class, and he does such a great job. He really does. And I have a woman that I talked to a week ago, and she just comes in and just does his kickboxing and no other classes. And she's so excited because well, you know, she's lost already four, dress four inch, yeah, four dress sizes, <laughs> doing just his kickboxing class. Now we do. He Kerwin does use the Balacore for a few things. Yeah. But truly, the results that he's getting, I would love to say, oh, it's my Balacor, but I can't say that about this class. This class, the reason why people are getting the results is because of Kerwin's sequencing and how he's put his moves together is why we're getting such great results from, um, from that class. So right. it's been really exciting. So that's why, um, like what you were just saying, your sequencing also is very important. Like I wouldn't know as a novice 10 years ago doing the gym, nobody taught me, I would, or let's say when, when I was 18, I just went and I go, Okay, bench day, leg day, right. this day, that day. Oh, throw in some triceps. There was no sequencing telling why you don't do this right. part this day, why you can't do it two days in a row. There's nobody telling you any of this. And I bet 
And I, I know that most of society doesn't know that. Yeah. So we're, we just go into, that's why these big box gyms are going, okay, there's all your pull down weights and they do have trainers that try to teach you, but are they classically trained like you to do the sequencing? Mm -hmm. They might just get a certification for one style. And I, again, I don't know any of that, yeah. that part of it. That's not my forte. Yeah, get to know your trainer. Make sure they do understand how the body's working. I believe that knowledge is power. And I believe that the more power you have and the more knowledge you have, the better you're going, the better decisions you're going to make for your body. And I think your workouts are going to become much more effective and efficient every single time if you understand how the body functions. When I first people get people in the gym for the first week, sometimes they don't get sore at all because they're, they don't understand how to work that muscle yet. And that is, you know, it's a technical term. It's a neurological muscle that they're using. They don't know how to use their skeletal muscle yet. So um, there, there's a learning curve involved. And by the second week is when they truly start to get a lot more sore, unless you're someone that already gets it. If you worked out before and you haven't worked out for five years, you show up, you're probably going to get really sore. But if you've never worked out a day in your life, it's going to take a little bit longer for you to start to get the soreness because your muscles really don't know how to work. And a lot of times going through a movement, and I'm going to share this with everyone listening, going through the motion of a lunge, if you don't know what muscles you're supposed to be contracting and tightening, you're not getting the full benefit of the lunge. You're not. You're going through the movement. A lot of people think the movement is what makes a muscle. The movement contribu contributes to the making of the muscle. It's a contracting, and it is the controlling of the muscle that makes a stronger muscle. The movement is only there. That movement only endorses, and that movement only is the foundation for that muscle to be able to work. And I can attest to that for um, even being in a class with 10 people, uh, show at, uh, Ellen will ask, where's everybody feeling it? And, you know, like could be five of us are like, uh, in our glute, and it's supposed to be in our front quad. So she says, okay, lift your, your back foot. Do not put pressure. Put it on the balls of your feet or a slight change. And then now do you feel it when you lean forward and go, and she puts you into the the, the muscle that you're supposed to be working. And it's like almost, it is instantaneous. And that's the thing why she, she's always, and what we do is double check. Because other places when you're lifting a dead lift or whatever, what, what's supposed to be working? Your back, your arms, or this, or that. Ellen checks in and our trainers check in. Are you in that right muscle? You know, and that's, that's one thing so you can develop that muscle. And that's why the body's changed so fast because you're not just going through a lunge and just pushing up through your, your heel or your toe or this just to go into the little squat of the lunge. You're in that muscle, which you make sure that we are. Yes. So important. It's so important for you to know that. And if you don't know it, i got to say wherever you are, whatever gym you are, you know, ask the trainer in front of the room. They know. So they'll answer you. Ask them, where am I supposed to feel this? What's supposed to be working? If they're not telling you, ask them. And sometimes when you ask them, what you do is open a door and they'll start really opening up and teaching you quite a lot. Because some trainers don't think you want to know that because I've been in the front of a class teaching now and then and people have said, you talk too much. <laughs> and I'm like, I know I'm trying to teach you. Well, those same people only come to my classes now because of the things that I'm saying. So sometimes just giving your... Uh, your instructor the opportunity and giving them the okay to talk, you're probably going to learn a lot more in your classes. We're going to be right back. This is Ellen Como, Danny Liu on your hometown station, AM 1220 KHTS.